respect dear family members my pranams to you yesterday i happened to see dr apj e. abdul kalam inaugurating the celebrations of mata amrita ananda mayis 60th birthday shashti abda purti last week dr ansari vice president of india inaugurated the statue unveiled the statue of swami vivekananda in trivandrum and uh, few days back sri k m mani the finance minister of kerala who is a christian and also mr samadani a muslim member of parliament they were standing in front of the pratishtha of sri narayana guru in varkala shivagiri asha and now you can see many many muslims who are the minority who used to practice rigidly their religion and who used to fight for their religion much more than any other religion many students in that community used to listen my speeches all over kerala whenever i was delivering lecture i used to deliver lecture in kannur university calicut university or in professional colleges and also in other institutes i could see that the muslim girls and muslim boys used to listen more seriously than other students their curiosity in understanding indian culture and heritage appeared to me more seriously than other group and indian institute of scientific heritage used to publish so many books cds memory cards and pen drives wherever the the listeners group audience is a mixture of christian muslim and hindu what we could experience is that muslim girls muslim parents used to purchase these books relatively more than other group and in our days in kerala we could see in many temples muslims are coming for prayer and offering the money and material for the temple and of course many hindus used to go to the mosque particularly bima palli bima mosque in trivandrum and it has become a sharing caring and a curing but most unfortunately with all these positives where in india 123 crore people belonging to all community <coughs> live together sometimes we could see through politicians or through religious leaders or through religious fanatics a small part of muslim community used to stick to their customs and rituals practiced 1000 years ago in arabia those customs and rituals they wanted they want to implement in india too if you are going to malappuram district of kerala you can see the number of people the population increases very fast almost all muslim family has got four five six children they propagate the population increase methodology as a theme adopted in islam maybe for islamization of <coughs> kerala and very recently the argument the fight the discussion the debate 
sprouted up like anything on reducing the marriage age of Muslim girls. <clears throat> 16 years from the general average of 18 or 20 to 16 years. Generally you can see the Muslim girls are fighting against it. And you can see the leftist group, their students wing, their youth wing and other people both Muslim community and non-Muslim community they are fighting against reducing the marriage age <clears throat> from the national level to 16. But you can see including politician belonging to Muslim community they are directly or indirectly supporting the 16 year age and that definitely we can see that one even when Muslim girls are against it and they are conducting protesting protest jada and other slogans routing and marches within the campus and outside and the road and in, in front of secretariat the Muslim community stand together for reducing the marriage age from 18 to 16 for girls 18 or 20 I do not know exactly anyway 16 is fixed and you can see the Muslims belonging to Congress or Communist or BJP in the daytime they are supporting the the national marriage age for the girls but indirectly for getting the votes of the Muslim community in the night they are with the Muslims I always used to think a Muslim is a Muslim whether he is in Congress or Communist or BJP whenever the Muslim issue come together they will be focusing not on national issue they will be focusing only on religious issue and you can see they will always stand together whether they are with the opposition party or in the ruling party and their members Muslim community members in Congress in communist and in BJP always bridge the role of getting the benefit for the Muslim community like that you can see in Kerala all the Muslim girls used to get free computers all the Muslim girls used to get free books for studying in their higher education universities and Muslim scholarship has gone beyond any limit and every facility is given for the Muslim students as though they are the poorest in the world but you see the Muslims in Congress leftist, rightist or middleist they used to support for that one thinking that they will be getting the vote as vote bank and with all these benefit you also can see that one the Hajj pilgrimage is with the support of the money received from Hindu, Christian and Muslim has paid us the tax nowhere in the world this Hajj pilgrimage is done with the government support and government subsidy the Muslims are getting everything I can say they are super citizen of India and anything happen to a, a Muslim the government will be taking all initiative first if 10 times of that negative happen to a Hindu government will keep quiet and very recently bus accident took place in uh, Malappuram district and uh, 10 or 11 people died all the 11 happened to be Muslims and their relatives were given free land and lakhs of rupees first time in the history of Kerala one can see that government compensating the, the victims of the accident with the land, money and other facilities and government job but many many deaths have taken place for Hindus and Christians government has done nothing for that so you can see the Muslims are like a super citizens in Kerala and in India 
Now the Muslim League, which is nothing but the second birth or incarnation of the old Muslim League, which partitioned India as Pakistan and Bangladesh, their second generation, when Nehru said it is a dead horse, but it was not a dead, it was at that time a semi-conscious horse. Now that is that has in reincarnated with all the vigor and they are fighting for everything for the Muslim community as though they came from outside. They wanted to split Malappuram district into two Muslim district. They want to see all the university, Muslim university centers in Malappuram. They want to see their roads are best. They want to see all the industrial units are coming there. They want to see in that Muslim majority area, maximum engineering college, medical college, university centers, everything got established. So they want to see that a mini Pakistan is created in Kerala. And I always used to think, wherever Muslims are there in the majority, may not be that all the Muslims are terrorists, but majority of the terrorists are Muslims. That is a truth. And you can see wherever Muslim population is very high, restlessness is common. Jammu, Kashmir, Jammu is a Hindu majority area, it is always silent. Whereas Kashmir is a Muslim majority area, see what is happening there. I am not against any religion. I am only telling to the Muslim community and particularly the youth of Muslim, they are getting all benefits from the Hindu land of India, the secular land of India. They are enjoying much more than any other Muslims living in any other country and enjoying all these merits at the same time getting involved in the negatives like terrorism, smuggling, fake note, problems, corruptions and so on. You can see Kashmir is, is always boiling. The Charminar area of Hyderabad always problem whereas Secunderabad area is free. And old Ahmedabad area is always problematic. Old Mumbai has got where Muslim population is very high problem is there. I am only pointing out all these things just to, to inform the public that such negative should be reduced, not for blaming anybody. When we are crossing, we are reaching near the 70th year of our independence, our ultimate aim is to see that on religious basis we should not, we should not partition ourselves within India or outside India. The Muslim community 100% almost in Pakistan. What is happening in Pakistan? Daily bomb blast. Very recently you could have seen that one. You might have seen that. About 70 or 75 Christians got died in Peshawar due to this bomb explosion. Who put that? You know that. And among Shia and Sunni, the dissidents of the same Prophet Muhammad and worshipping Kaaba, worshipping the Quran, worshipping the moon and the star and they are fighting and killing each other and blood, flesh it has become the part of their day to day visit or, or, or uh, observation and what is happening in uh, Bangladesh you know that one so there also the terrorism and uh, restlessness very luckily in India now terrorism has come down but at the same time very recently one of the very senior Pakka Muslim leader in Trivandrum when he was delivering a lecture with furious spirit, he was telling that 82% of the prisoners in Indian jails belong to Muslims. And after his utterances like that, another person sent us a letter from England he is working in the security section of British, I think. He was telling that the population of Muslims in England is 3%. Whereas 23% of the prisoners in England belongs to Muslim community. 53 or 52% of the Muslim youth live in England with the government support without doing any work. 63% of Muslim women live in England with the government support without doing any work. So there also it happens. So about 82% of the, the prisoners in India 
according to him is uh, from Muslim community then there should be some problem there in that community and very recently I not very recently about two months or three months ago one of the ministers in the central ministry was telling that the number of Muslims in the prison in the jail is increasing so much that we have to constitute a separate court for them why the number is increasing like that some other problem is there not because the police are against Muslims or anything but why the number is increasing whenever you are seeing the smuggling list smugglers list you can see majority of them belongs to this community fake note cases majority of this become from come from one community and corruption part partly from this community and in negatives you take at least one or two or three names will be from this particular community i am not against any any religion but this is a truth i am proudly telling that and i used to proudly say that my professor is dr ashraf from maharaja's college we the students used to take dr ashraf as an ideal model teacher and he spent the time for the students 120 books i have published in malayalam english and hindi and about half a dozen of my books got released through Salauddin Kunya, sir of Maharaja's College and now he is got retired from University Women College. So I am the proud student of Muslim teachers and I became like that because of the support of a Christian professor from St. Albert's College, Ernakulam, Professor Palli Kundel Matai. Why I am telling this one not to say something unusual but to say that I am not against any religion or any group but some religions they are more more superior than other religion and they get all the benefit from the government and again they do the terrorist type of activities and so on in India this is the case and outside India you see in Syria what is happening in Egypt what is happening I have already told you about Pakistan what is happening in Pakistan Bangladesh very recently in Bodhagaya many foreign students got arrested and uh, many foreign students studying in Indian University got arrested and the news came in such a way that one the Muslim students from Burma Bangladesh and other country they were doing something negative about this holy sacred place of Bodhagaya. There also this problem is there. And in America you can see many blasts. They suspect always this community group. In Germany, in England also the same thing. And my request to all Muslim community group people, India is the land where you are getting all the freedom. Why you want to live like the people of Saudi Arabia? The messages given by divine incarnation prophet Muhammad is meant for the Arabians who are living in desert. That too 1300 years ago, 13 centuries ago. We are living in Kerala and we are living in India. It is not a desert. And why you want to put the parda? which in Saudi Arabia used to prove to, to prevent the sand particle going inside the dress because of the heavy sand storm, very common there. Heavy wind with the sand particle, once it is going inside, it will create a lot of problem. So that parda is needed there. But is it necessary here? You can see the dress of the, the gents and women male and female that is designed in such a way that the sand particle should not go inside the dress creating irritation and itching in the body but that type of sandstorm is not there in Kerala that type of sand problem is not there in Kerala in India then why we should copy the copy what the dress they are using in Saudi Arabia and the days have changed the years have changed, the location, place have changed and we are living in the most modern society. Even Saudi Arabia got changed and many of the people 
are following prophets same pathway of marrying two or three or four at that time it might be required there in Saudi Arabia but in India it is not needed Indian rule Indian penal court gives you like a monogamy and we need not follow what happened you the Muslims are not the people who came from Saudi Arabia Christians are not the people who came from Israel and here Indian communists are not people who came from Moscow or China and you can see that we are living a happy life together still the problem come from one community whether it is a political problem or it is social problem or it is psychological problem or it is a religious problem one can see that any problem any terrorism any smuggling any fake notes any theft major part is played by one group of the people and very luckily very interestingly as i told you in the beginning dr apj abdul kalam is considered as one of the divine president of india i use a wrong word divine but intentionally i am using because he is respected and he is honored by everyone in india he is taken as a real role model scientist among the scientists i being a scientist in csir i can say he is taken as a role model and in the academic community also he is taken as a role model among politicians and rulers he has been taken as a role model for anyone in the world and dr ansari vice president of india is a man of man of esteem qualifications and qualities and many people many people who belong to muslim community like uh, uh, vipro uh, md chairman asim premji he used to say that i am proud to say that i am an indian and my islamic background has not created any problem to me in india on the other hand it was a support for me to live as a happy muslim in india and he never used to discriminate among muslims christians and uh, hindus while selecting muhammad ali also is like that one of the prestigious industrialists who being a strong muslim never used to behave as a as a pakka muslim alone he used to be an indian so to the youth who uh, particularly girls who are protesting now against uh, bringing down the marriage age to them and uh, to other muslim youth i want to say that you are indian you will be indian you were indian your forefathers got converted from hindu dharma to islam and you can see right from 995 ad 995 ad up to tipu sultan's period the torture the muslim rulers done against hindus you should read that one not for uh, boiling the blood but to understand the history how many temples got massacred butchered or thrashed by tipu sultan and uh, no hindu protest against tipu sultan many temples in north kerala even still remain in the hand of muslim like mosque all the temple sanctum sanctorums and balikal and flag post everything is there you can see dozens of uh, temples got converted into mosque but hindus do not keep anything in their mind against the muslims and hyder ali did the same thing and aurangzeb including the so called akbar the great if you go deep into his story and what he did and his forefathers did taimur did you will cry they did against hindus as idolaters they used to the butcher many many muslim youth youths used to ask me the question can you give one proof for that i need not give any proof UGC approved history books taught in Indian universities they give the middle age period in India the ancient India middle India modern India if you read middle India you will get all the proof of that one of the muslim youth asked me you should read only quran 
and don't look to the lifestyle of the Muslims for understanding Islam. I am telling nobody in the world will be evaluating Hindus by reading Bhagavad Gita or Veda. They will be evaluating Hindus by seeing the behavior of Hindus and by seeing how they live. They live silently or violently. Then only they will be evaluating Hinduism. Like that, to the Muslim youth asking me the question to them also, I want to tell Islam will not be evaluated based on Quran. Islam will be evaluated based on the behavioral pattern of Muslim community. Even you, you can see Sakir Naik is using Vedas. Sakir Naik and his uh, uh, followers are using Bhavishya Purana for telling that Quran is great, for telling that Prophet is great, for telling that Islam is great, they are taking the support of Vedas now. And indirectly they wanted to convert Hindus to Islam. But in fact, if you are reading, you can understand that the Vedic messages are taken, the Bhavishya Purana is taken, Kalki Purana is taken by Sakir Naik and Emma Akbar for telling that these they mention Quran and Prophet Muhammad and Allah in Hindu literature. That means they want to take the support of Hindu literature for telling that Islam is great. Maybe let them take, I don't have, but their hidden agenda is different. But under that situation also in India, we can live together happily. We are not uh, outsiders without creating this terrorism, without creating the smuggling, without uh, involving too much uh, uh, in, in negative activities. We can live. This is my request to the Muslim youth, Muslim brethren like Dr. E.P.J. Abdul Kalam, Dr. Anzari, Dr. Samadani and many good leaders. The partition of India, splitting of India and this type of negatives to one community alone should be avoided as much as possible. With this request I fold my hand. Pranams to you. Thank you very much.